Welcome back. In this video, I will explain the concept of linear regression with the help of simple solved example. Here, a biologist assumes that there is a linear relationship between the amount of fertilizer supplied to tomato plants and the subsequent yield of tomatoes obtained. So here we will consider eight tomato plants were selected at random and they were treated with a solution in which x grams of fertilizer was dissolved. The yield y kilograms of tomatoes was recorded. Here we need to find the equation for linear regression of y on x. After finding the linear regression, we need to estimate the yield of the plant treated with 3.2 grams of fertilizer. This is a given data set. In this, we consider 8 tomato plants from A to H and uh, X is an independent variable and Y is a dependent variable. In this case, following data is given to us that is X that is the amount of fertilizer in grams and Y is a yield in kg of tomatoes and uh, here we have 8 data points and to find the linear relationship between the X and Y we use the following equation that is y is equal to a plus bx. Here we need to find the value of a and we need to find the value of b. To find the value of a and b, we use the following formula that is b which is equal to n into summation of xy minus summation of x into summation of y divided by n into summation of x square minus summation of x bracket square and to find the a we use the following formula that is a which is equal to summation of y minus b into summation of x divided by n. So to find the a and b values we need summation of xy, summation of x, summation of y and summation of x square. So first we will find the summation of x that will become 22 and the summation of y will become 48.8 and here we need the summation of x square. To find this one, first we will find the x square, then we will add all the values, so we will get the summation of x square, so that will become 71. Similarly, we will find the summation of xy, that is first we will find the x into y, then we will add all those values, so we will get the summation of xy as 146. So, once you find all the required values, we will put those values in these two equations that is A and B equations. So, we will get B which is equal to N that is number of data points that is 8 into summation of XY is 146 and summation of X is 22, summation of Y is 48.8 divided by N that is 8 into summation of X square that is 71 minus summation of x bracket square. So, summation of x is 22, that's bracket square is 22 into 22. So, once you do the simplification of this one, we will get b which is equal to 1.105. Once you find the b value, next we need to find the a which is equal to summation of y minus b into summation of x divided by n. So, which is equal to 3.061. Here we found the value of a and b. Now we will replace these values in the linear regression equation that is y is equal to a plus bx. So once you put these two values in this equation, we will get y which is equal to 3.061 plus 1.105 into x. Uh, so in the problem definition, we have been given the x value that is a 3.2. So, once you put these 3.2 value in this equation, we will get y which is equal to 3.061 plus 1.105 into 3.1 which is equal to 6.06 kg. So, once you find the yield of y, next we need to plot the graph. Here in on the x-axis, we will consider the fertilizer and on the y-axis, we will consider the uh, tomato yield. For the x 3.2, we will get the y value as 6.06 .06. that is what you can see here this is how we can find the linear regression equation and we can predict the yield for the given value i hope the concept of linear regression is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends 
Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.